Hi folks, we got a new app for Vontronix TV and uh, we're going to walk you through a new process for downloading the app onto your Fire Stick. So I've got my brand new Fire Stick here and the first thing we're going to do is get uh, go to settings up on the top here and then go over to the right and go to my Fire TV go to developer options and we want to turn both of these on. Okay, so developer options, we can now download our app. So now we're going to go back to the beginning. And we have to look for downloader. Downloader is the software that will allow us to download our file. The second line here has downloader built into it. Also, if you go to the very end of it and see all, here's downloader again. Okay. But in case you have an older Fire Stick that doesn't have that, you can go up to the very top here and in the very top left corner has this little spyglass for searching and you can type in Downloader and it comes right up when you hit a D. Oops. Maybe I want a little more. How do you get down to there? I'm going to try that one more time. Type out the whole thing. Okay. Download our app. Jeez, Christmas. Okay. Download our app for Fire Stick. It's not it. Downloader. That's the one with the orange arrow. And you're going to download that file. Open it up. When it comes up to this, you can hit OK, get rid of that. On the left hand side, so we're going to take our cursor and go all the way over to the left. Go to Settings. Under Settings, you need all three of these enabled, which they are. Sometimes you'll see the uh, Java is not enabled, so we want to make sure that it is. Okay. Then we're going to go up to the top, Home. Oops, I'm sorry, Browser. And we go to browser and what I want you to do is take that red circle, put it up on top here, hit the center round button. It brings up this little keyboard. Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to delete all the way back, get rid of that S. Okay, so now we're going to put back the colon and the forward slash forward slash. And now we're going to put in Vontronix TV. VontronixTV.com And hit go. 
Now this takes you over to our website here and we'll once again use a little round guy and here's there's three things on here. Number one, the first one, and here's where to download the regular app. Okay, below it, here's a different app, and this is our advanced app. Um, you might like it, you might not. It's there for you if you want to try it. Okay, and then the third thing that's on here is a speed test. And uh, speed test, you know, is really important because we need 15 megabytes of speed for our service to work properly. The number, nah, not, not the number one question I get, but it, it comes up an awful lot. When people get buffering, they want to uh, check their speed. And buffering will start if you don't have enough bandwidth. If your speed isn't over 15, you're going to have a problem. So, um, and that can only be fixed by your cable company. It's not something we do. So, this, uh, this TV here um, is getting almost 30 megabytes per second. This one runs great no issues whatsoever so we have enough bandwidth and we're only concerned about the download speed the upload speed doesn't matter but um, it's nice that we have this right on the Vontronics uh, website for you so now go back to the Vontronics site just hitting the back button there and whoops a little fast and we're going to download the file Let's give it a click the download starts right away. And you can use both of these apps at the same time. In other words, you can have your username and password in both of them and go back and forth to see whichever one you like. Um, if you're new to Vontronics, uh, this first one is the one to use. Um, if you're looking for, I don't know, a little more pizzazz out of the way it operates, you might want to try the other one. Once again, you can kind of judge your internet speed by how long this file takes to download. Um, you can see at 30, this is how long it takes. If yours is taking a whole lot longer, you better check your internet speed. Okay, now we've got down the bottom here, we're going to go over to install. I'm going to let the file load up. Okay, now the app is installed, hit done. Okay, hit done again here. And if you want to if you want to install the other one, boom, it's right here, grab it. It's actually a smaller file. The this one we call the uh, Vontronics Pro app. Again, because it's a little more advanced. So when you see the two apps in there, well, this one's the pro. Okay, done. Hit done again now. We want to get out of downloader. We don't want to be in here any longer. So now on the remote, I'm hitting the back button and also the button that looks like a little house, the home button. And now we're back to the beginning of downloader. Okay, so the first line here shows you your recently used apps and you used downloader recently. That's why it's there. But we're now, where do our apps go that we just downloaded? So go up on top to settings again, go over to applications, manage installed applications, and then go all the way down the bottom and here's the two apps you just downloaded, Vontronics TV and Vontronics TV Pro. So now we go launch application, and this is where it's going to ask you to put your username and password in. Okay, we can go back and grab the other one.
same thing. Just they look a little different. Um, okay, and now that you've opened them up, they should be accessible from that front page. And there they are. Okay, so now you have the two different two different apps. This is the Pro. This is the regular one. And you watch the other video that shows you how to use it. Very good. Hopefully you uh, get through that as easily as we just did. Thank you. Bye-bye.